Basic Math, Chapter 16, Section 1, Points and Lines. The table below shows the basic figures in geometry. Figure, picture, and the name. A point is a location in space. And we see the picture and the name, point A. A line is made up of many points. It extends endlessly in both directions. A line segment is a part of a line. It has two end points. Line segment AB. A ray is a part of a line. It has one end point. When you name a ray, name the end point first. So we have our A and B, but this is called ray BA because the end point is B. You can use the chart to identify the basic figures. Name the figure on the right. Step one, match the given figure to the figure in the chart above. There's one endpoint ray. There's an endpoint, and it goes with the pointy. So let's name the figure for step two. It's a ray. The endpoint is C, and we have a D. So the figure is ray CD. When you name a ray, you name the endpoint first. So let's name each figure. Right, point, line, line segment, or ray. So here we have a ray. And it's ray R, S, because the endpoint is R. And then the other items we have are here to remind us. A point, a line, a line segment. And then we just did the ray. A point, a line, a line segment, and a ray. So we've got a... Well, Here's the point, A, here is a line, and number eight is a line segment. So there's all, all of them, and then we can label this is line X, Y, and this is line segment E, F. And let's double check our table. So we've got the line labeled with AB, the line segment labeled with AB, the rays get labeled with the endpoint first, and a point just gets its name, point A. And so that's how it matched with our practice. We've got a ray. Here's another ray for number four. This would be ray SR. This would be a ray MN. This would be a line QR, point M, line segment EF, line segment BC. We could practice drawing and labeling a picture for each of these. So here we have a line EF for number 10. So we can draw a line and we put the arrows on each end and we can make dots and label each dot each point. So there's a line for EF. Now here's a ray LM. So we could draw one end point and then another point. Now the end point has to be L, and that one would be M. 
point x would just be a point x. And so that's how we would do those three. The last one that we haven't done yet is a line segment. So a line segment has two points connected and then y, z for the label. So there's our line segments. There's a few more if you'd like to practice. And then you have your workbook for chapter 16, section one. Let's see if this everyday problem solving has some fun things. Trace the drawing. Find endpoints, lines, line segments, and rays. So what if we'd had the train track? Was that a segment or would it be more of a, of a line going both ways? I think it's more of a line, right? Here we have buildings. There's gonna be tops and bottoms to the buildings. And there's the top. So we've got segments to the lines of the building, but we also have sun's rays that start at the sun and continue out. So we've got rays, we've got lines, the sun itself is a big point. So that could just be one point. So there's some good things. Maybe you can find some more things you could pull out, Maybe like the windows. So that's great. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.